Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, this shirt again, but I love it so much. This vintage embroidery is just, I love it. Uh, plus, it's hot y'all. But thank you so much for spending your time with me. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah. I am a small business owner and blogger and now YouTuber trying to figure this whole thing out. So in this video, I talk about scheduling. And boy oh boy, so many apps have let me down in the past. Because I have an online store called Hey Red Shop where I sell vintage and secondhand goods, and two blogs, one a lifestyle blog and the other one is a movie blog, Eating Film. I have a lot of different things that I'm juggling as well as my professional like profiles on LinkedIn, for example. You want to show that you're engaged, that you know what's going on in the job market and whatnot. It gets to be really overwhelming, especially when certain schedulers don't work properly. So the T is that I'm on the Squarespace platform. I have two blogs and I have a storefront and you have to pay an extra fee to use the scheduling feature. Now, it looks like the scheduling feature is only linked to Instagram and Facebook, but more than that, couldn't really tell you. I have profiles on Facebook, Instagram for myself and my professional projects. So I have like one for the shop, for example, and then one for myself. Pinterest, Etsy, I have them everywhere. So being able to for example, when I add an item to my inventory and being able to push out a notification to Pinterest or push out a notification to Instagram or Facebook that shows, hey, I have a new item in stock now is a really useful feature. Does it work properly? No. <laughs> because when I try to push notifications to my store's Facebook page, as the owner of said page, it pushed it out to my personal account, which is fine because that's how I got a lot of business started was through word of mouth through my friends and family, as a lot of people do. So it wasn't a big deal, but that's not what was supposed to happen. So I had started using the Facebook studio and they have a, um, I think it's called a planner feature where you can schedule out post to Instagram and Facebook. And I was like, cool, you know, I'll have, I'll be able to have everything set up in advance. I won't have to keep an eye on it and I can start focusing on other things. So I don't have to worry about publishing or posting something in the moment. So I tried that for a couple of weeks and then I noticed sometimes posts would publish without their captions or tags or both. And then it was like, okay, so I can't, and this was on Facebook and Instagram. So I could not depend on the planner feature in the Facebook or Meta Studio, whatever it's called now, to work. So I was like, okay, so I'll, I'll have to publish, do this manually. And then I realized how much work that would be to set reminders to publish for a blog, an online store, YouTube channel, and all of that. So I was like, okay. Luckily, YouTube has a scheduling feature that I can use to premiere and publish videos, and that's great. I'm not sure how far in advance I can push that feature so far, I've only tried it a couple of weeks just to see, make sure, okay, when this publishes, does it have my correct title? Does it have the full description? Does it have the tags? Is everything still the same? Some stuff was a little messed up. For example, the language, it just disappeared. It was like I hadn't selected a language at all. Same thing for the automatic closed captions and what language I wanted that in. Sometimes that would disappear and it'd be like I didn't make a selection at all. It wasn't that it was the wrong one. It was as if I didn't make a choice at all. So, or the location where I was filming or the date 
where I was filming would sometimes be gone and it was like okay this is a small a small error you know something I can get past I can always go back in and fix it it's all about efficiency and this is how you know solopreneurs and entrepreneurs end up being overworked because they are constantly having to double check and triple check things especially if it's something new that they haven't used before. And for me, I started my small business. I started my online store and I was working on that. And then I added my lifestyle blog where I share my experiences as an entrepreneur, what I'm learning, resources. I feature other small businesses, um, review products, things like that. And then I added on my movie blog because I needed something that was purely creative and movies are a huge passion of mine. I would talk about movies all day, every day if I could. But there's a difference between having that as a hobby, as something that I enjoy, and then wanting it to become successful enough and popular enough that I can generate income from it is a totally separate thing. And that is what is the overarching goal for this year for me is for my YouTube channel and my blogs and my online store to become viable enough that I can truly be an independent freelance worker. And so far that has involved picking up new skills, uh, honing current skills, I don't know if you guys can tell that the light changed, but that's because my camera overheated again. So I had to let it cool off for like half an hour. But anyway, um, in the past I have worked for small businesses and a lot of it involved, we'll take care of it later, we'll figure it out later. It's just about knocking out those emergency moments where you're like, we have to get this done not about setting systems in place especially for someone like me who is just me here I don't have a team behind me when you are a small business and you do have a small team you can always look to your left or look to your right and assign a task to the person on your left or the person on your right you can always say hey can you also check this thing can you make that a part of your routine also very similar to like startup culture it's like taking on additional responsibilities as needed because we are essentially all figuring this out together so if there's a problem that keeps coming up yes we do need to take the time to address it and figure out how to address the issue address the problem keep it from happening again make sure that we have a system in place but for someone like who is just doing this alone it's more about changing a habit again and there's so many videos about establishing habits establishing good habits versus bad habits and good routines versus bad routines but as an entrepreneur so many things will just randomly come up that you'll have to deal with adjust your approach to again and again that Having reliable software, reliable apps is really key to that. And I haven't quite found one yet. So what I do is mostly set reminders to post or publish whatever it is. Um, could be a blog post, could be a reminder about something, could be just some random thing. Or use the platform itself to publish or schedule. excluding the Facebook creator suite whatever that's called because I don't use that anymore because it's not reliable but the Pinterest scheduler is very reliable the only thing is you can't schedule stuff out more than two weeks in advance um, what's another one Google search is fine but you can't schedule it at all you have to post things in real time um, I do have a, uh, a business profile for my online store on Google and there is a feature where you can publish photos and posts 
And in order to publish a post, you have to do it manually. You can't do it, um, you can't schedule them in advance. And I haven't really found any apps that cater to that feature. at all so so far I've been doing that manually so at one time I was using these schedule apps I was using task trackers and like routine trackers checklists and that was helpful until it wasn't because when you're in the beginning stages of starting a new project everything works until you start hitting the first few issues like something stops working like for example when i found out that the facebook creator suite the planner feature was publishing my posts on instagram without captions and without tags <laughs> that was a big deal because i because number one when i looked at my feed i saw everything so I thought that it was there, but one day I was looking closer at my feed and I realized that there wasn't a caption there, so I had to go in and add the caption. Luckily the image posted and looked the way that it was supposed to, but if it had, if there was an error with the image, I would have had to delete that entire post. And because I had let this run for a couple of weeks, I had to go in manually and add the captions in each time. And I did lose the opportunity to encourage like customers or clients or people to engage with the image, whatever it is, because there was no caption. <laughs> so that was like time loss, that was potential, you know, clients or customers lost. When you're a small business, it's just something that you have to be able to accept and digest really quickly. Everything is always moving. There's always something else that needs your attention. So it's not only about prioritizing things. It's also about taking note of the things that are not working. The snags in your routine that keep coming up and setting aside time to address those things. So if you guys know of a scheduling app that is free or nearly free, where I can schedule out posts more than a month in advance for my Squarespace blogs, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Maps and Search, <laughs> that would be amazing. So yeah, scheduling is really your best friend. The sooner you can find an app or a program that really allows you to schedule things out in advance, the better off you'll be. I mean, I am a blogger, I am a YouTuber, and I do have an online store, and the more that I can schedule things out in advance, the better organized I am. I'm more focused, and I, I get things like done done not where I complete the baby steps to something I'm able to complete those baby steps and the big thing and because I want all of these different ventures to be successful I am running this marathon I'm not jogging I am running on this marathon because by the end of the year that's my goal essentially is by the end of the year for the combined effort of all of these different ventures to allow me to be completely financially independent. So I have one more really big project on the horizon and it's Patreon, y'all. I am, I snagged my name. So I, I wanted to make sure that I had no overnight guests as the name of my Patreon account. So I have that now. <laughs> But now I'm trying to figure out how is this going to work in the routine and a big part of it working 
And it being successful is if I'm able to find a program or an app that allows me to schedule things far in advance. That way I can give my attention to Patreon because it is going to take, Patreon will be priority. Patreon will be priority over my online store and everything else because I know that there are people who are giving of their money to me, then I want to make sure that I'm fulfilling the promise, whatever that is, to for photographs or video or podcast or whatever it is for them. Um, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. Um, add them in the comment section below. I will do some research and see if I can find some reliable scheduling apps that may be helpful if you're on a similar path as me and a content creator on different platforms and in different mediums. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate you guys sticking around through all the light changes and all of that. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you next time.